we go into this game with a ton of injuries, well documented. Uh, James Houston, Montgomery, Kirby Joseph, Taylor Decker, Vitae, Mosley. And then in the game, Matt oh, Nelson goes Tony. out. Dan Skipper goes out. CJ Gardner Johnson's already out. St. Brown's questionable going into the game. It's like, all right, you know, I mean, really, you can love the team. You can feel good about everything. But at the end of the day, if you've got 10 guys out, then it's going to be very difficult. But we've said it going into it. Culture. Do we have the culture? Do we have the players? Do we have everything that you need where, hey, you can replace these guys and find a way to get a victory against a team? Let's face it. It's not a powerhouse team, a good team, but a team that you can get a win at home. And the Lions did exactly that. So it looks like to me the culture's there mm -hmm. and the scouting, the next man up thing is a real thing. It has to be because you have no choice. Yeah. So when you see all those injuries and then the Lions still go out and dominate, what does that tell you? Is that a scouting thing? Is that a culture thing? What, what does that tell you? I think it tells me two things. I think it's number one, a talent thing. Um, it's a depth thing more than anything else. Honestly, um, I think it's a depth thing. It's, it's mm -hmm. that you have a guy, you have a GM that the villain, right? Brad Holmes oh. that has put together a roster and I was thinking about this, man. So all those guys that were missing, like these are all guys that played for us regularly in years past, mm -hmm. but they played for us in different ways, right? Tracy Walker starting safety. No, now he's just here because you have two safeties out, right? I mean, like that's kind of nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. To have that depth there. Um, Jameer Gibbs is the number one running back. Okay, fine. He was the 12th pick in the NFL draft. You know, like he better be able to maintain this. Uh, what I loved is you have a guy. This is the most telling piece of the depth for me. You have a tackle that's out. So Nelson comes in. Oh. He hurts an ankle. So then you have a guy that you took off the practice squad come in. He tweaks a hamstring, which is a bummer. Skipper seems like the nicest guy in the world. I know. He? Like, it just seems like such a sweetheart. <laughs> I, mean, like, I, know, I don't just... know, even know if I can say that about someone, um, but he just seems so nice. And so you've got that. And then who comes in? None other than the rookie out of William and Mary, right? Colby Sorsdahl, who came in. He played tackle in college, but he's a guard. He should not be a tackle. And he comes in and yeah, he gets beat once, but then he at least holds his own, which that's right. A fourth tackle in the game, like holding his own, a guy that hasn't even repped at tackle probably since a year ago is crazy. And that's okay. insane. I love it. And you make all every point. I agree with you. And then the other point is at the end of the day, we've got a really good quarterback. Mm -hmm. We've got a good play calling general scheme on offense. And then we're stopping the run on defense. Now you do that and man, you're going to play really, you're going to be in every game. And so it almost doesn't, it does matter, but it doesn't matter the, the injuries that you have when you can smartly use the players that you have, you have a good starting quarterback and yeah, we're, we continue to stop the run. And I, I was starting to look at this game and you tell me as I'm watching it, we got the injuries. A lot of mm -hmm. these guys are out for lengthy periods. I'm like, okay, well, let me just reset my ex expectations. I'm like, I think we're still good, but it, it's going to be hard to really make a run. I don't think we're, and I was just kind of talking myself down a little bit like, Hey, you know, let's just, let's just see what happens here. Mm -hmm. But then as the game went on, I'm like, if we can continue, because this all three games, the run defense is there. If you can run the ball, stop oh, the run, and you've got a good quarterback, man, I don't win know. A lot of games. I know. You can win a lot of games. You're going to win a lot of games. And I think it's one of those things, and, and you are right. I know I chalk it up to depth. Um, culture's real, what you're saying. Like, this, just this idea, did you hear one excuse? Did we even really hear a lot of people talking about the injuries? No. If it Last year... I remember doing a video on the show being like, well, here we go again. The Detroit Lions would be able to show how good of a team they are, but they're injured like crazy. We didn't do any of that. It was just, you know what? I think, you know what? I think Sam Laporte is going to have a massive game. 
Like that's the conversation that's going on. And so like just this next man up. Oh, okay. So St. Brown might be out. So who's golf going to look to? Cause it's going to happen. Khalif Raymond. Thank you. So good to have you on this team. Four catches, 55 yards. Love you. <laughs> right? Like punt returns. He's just reliable. Yep. And so it is, it is definitely a culture thing, but um, it's a depth thing. And I think all that plays into factor, and but this, it, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'm saying it as, as I was talking myself <laughs> down, like temperate, I'm like, yeah. well, or should I, because you just, I'm just like looking at the lions, man, you guys just beat an inferior opponent, a good opponent. Though. Maybe. I don't, yeah. I, right. I don't want to, but this is a game that you should win. You're at home. You got to have it. Let's please win. And you go out and absolutely dominate. And this is after a yes. tough loss. And I think this is what good teams do. You what have to find do. a way to, to win these stretches because every team in the NFL is going to go through this three, four week stretch where you got a bunch of guys out, you, you know, you're not at full strength and Hey, if we can weather this storm, get on a little bit of a run, get the bye week then. Hey, but, and this is what we said. So yeah, th Hey, this is what good teams do. So do you know what our uh, bye week is? I don't even know what our bye week is. is I think it it's like, like week seven or eight oh, or something. It's, it's in there. That's yeah. Not, that's not terrible. No. Um, here's, here's what I will say. And this is, this is nuts to me. When you, when you look at this team last year, we had the same thing happen with injuries. So we just kept losing. Mm -hmm. We're two and one. That's right. We're two That's and one. Right. We we go into Lambo against a Packers team that is two and one. We can walk out of there with sole first place of the division if we win the game. Um, we just beat an Atlanta team who, based on the way they've played so far and the division they're in, let's be honest, um, not a good division. They're going to be a team that's going to be jockeying with us for playoff position, possibly. Wow. These are the games like last year, and I hate that we lost to Seattle. Right. But like last year and we did it again this year, but the game against Seattle, the game against Carolina, the game, you know, and it was like, come on, we got to win these games. I know we beat the Giants, which was huge, um, but there were so many other ones where it's like, oh, my goodness, come on. We got to these yep. are the games you got to be of teams that it's like they could be a borderline playoff team, but I don't know because it's so early in the season when yep. those games 100 percent. you you nailed it this will come back this will absolutely come back because they are in a manageable division and so it's like they're going to be nine wins i mean they they're just in a how do they not get how do their division is like come on yeah. so yeah this is huge so greg awesome love it we are we're going to head out of here on on that note the lions win two and one lions All win you can ask for after three games two and one and cam sutton is very good. I don't know. That must have been a comment that was in the thread or yeah. something. Someone's like, who says Sutton is trash? N nope. No, buddy. Um, we did not say that. I don't know. No, who no he's awesome. But I did find actually someone did. I don't. Um, Bobby said Sutton is trash, but at least he doesn't get beat deep. No, he's just good. Like, sorry. I'm sorry. He's very Bobby, good. Don't Come do on, that. Bobby. I thought. Is that Bobby thought Boucher up in here? Sutton, Sutton is trash, but he. No, no, we didn't say that. I no. don't know. No, okay. he's not. And uh, in fact, all we said on here was how good he is. And I'm telling you right now, it's been three weeks. He's the best corner we've had in Detroit um, in a long time. Right. I best I would say he's the best corner in Detroit since Slay. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because you're not hearing about him at all. And that's what he just and then you see throws out to him and he's there. So anyway, love it. We. Let's Sorry. get out of here. This was great. Awesome. Go Lions. Go Lions. Two one and prime, one. baby. Let's go. Also, can I just say, turtle shirt. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage. Let's go. Let's get a Lions Turtles mosh up. A little shirt action. Yeah. That'd be great. Come on, Turtles. Love Come the on. Turtles. Or they're back. They're Turtle. back in action. Uh, we'll yep. see. We'll see all of you guys on the next one. More videos to come. Always. All right, see ya. See ya.